Shimai GTA chums, it's time to customise the last decent car. That's rubbish at the end. Um, it is the um, overflowed Entity MT, also known as the Jasco, the Koenigsegg. And if we go to Legendary Motorsport, Legendary Motorsport, Overflowed MT, 2.3 million, and it's 300 R, a bit better value, 2 million. Um, or is it? Well, we'll find out. I've driven it, I've driven it before. I'm going to modify it to the hilt and I'm going to drive it. you got the Dodge Malibu, not Dodge Malibu, Chevy Malibu on the side there as well. All the armour, brakes and speed stuff is done to the max. Um, first off, I'm going to change the respray because we're going to, not matte, classic because they're free. Of course they're free. We're going to, ch this is a beautiful looking car. I don't need to tell you that. It's there in front of you. Um, livery though. Is something that you can't see yet, but we're going to have a look at. Oh, look at that! Swedish livery. <laughs> uh, I kind of, I almost like that. You know, I kind of want to do that. Maybe I should. Let's have a look. Swedish livery. That's great. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do the Swedish stripe. I didn't even read that. I knew it's a Swedish flag. That's how um, Norwegian I am. Um, Three percent. Sweden, Norwegian, same thing, isn't it? Tell me why it's not. Answers on a postcode, obviously. The different uh, metals, right? So what we're going to do for this one, I do like the grey on it because it looks amazing. Um, so a brushed steel, maybe the dark. I'm feeling a bit Batmanish. Gold isn't it at all? Brushed steel, brushed aluminium, brushed black steel. I'm going to go with the black steel. I think it adds more value. Um, secondary colour on the other hand is black. Do we need to go white on this or something? Let's, let's go frost white. Oh look, it, look at that. It's um, lit up the, the rims. I like that. And for that reason I'm going to keep the rims. Maybe we should go yellow in that case. Um, let's just have a look at the, the yellow on the side. Not red. Um, where's the yellow? Because yellow is the one that sticks out, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, you're being a bit yellowish by going yellow, but I'm going to do it. Uh, it's either that or the, or the light blue. I just like the look of the yellow. Shame you can't put blue on this side, yellow on the other. That would be super amazing. Okay, that is a great looking car. Customization complete. Let's go. I don't think we need to do anything else to it. I think that looks beautiful. But we're going to. We're going to do it anyway. Front bumpers. Okay. Um, that is good actually. Secondary. Um, that is perhaps better. No, we want something that goes all around. All around. I like that one better. Yes, that's the one. Secondary street splitter. I'm not looking at the prices, by the way. Um, secondary colour, good. Um, canards. We don't want canards. We, although, those, although those are good canards, I am tempted by them. Yes, I am tempted indeed. No, we'll ruin the look. Engine is upgraded to the max. Exhaust. Oh, the exhaust comes out there. Look at that. Very nice. Infinity exhaust, as ever. Has it got a black carbon infinity? Yes, it does. Quad. Um, rhombus. I'm tempted by the rhombus. Rhombus exhaust it is. There is lots of customization. It's surprising. I like this car. Maybe it is going to be number one out of this DLC after all. It was number one in feel when I first drove it. But I've gone all... Oh, Imani Tech. Imani Tech. But I'm going to stop, stop Imani Tech right now. That is nice. Slipstream hood. I like that. Um, but I like the original. Stock is good. So we're going to keep it. Um, what is it? Hood. Livery. Um, roof. Roof. There we go. Oh, we can take the roof off now. That's pretty, isn't it? I like the look of that. We can do a summer build. We're not going to do that. Um, but we are going to leave it in stock. That is something good because you can't do that with any of the other overflowed entities. Um, you know, the XF and the XXR. It does look very similar if you leave the roof on to the XF and XXR. Skirts. Um, yellows, yeah, you know me. I, I like the yellow coming around all the way around. A little bit of a lip on it that adds that accent that we've got on the front, but that is too much. Good spoiler. I don't think we need spoilers. Um, we can remove those little um, doodos. Wings, I like the wings. Actually, that that secondary carbon adds extra yellow, doesn't it? So I think that's the one. Or is that one the one? That's even better, isn't it? I like the way the lines carry on. I like a ducktail. These are good. 
These are good options, very good options, very good customization here. I could use any of them and be happy. But I'm going to choose that one just for now. Suspension is lowered to the max. It's a, it's a super car. It's a super car. Of course it's lowered. Um, turbo and wheels. That's it. We're, we're at wheels already. Tire enhancements. Put them on bulletproofs. The smoke is going to be yellow. Yeah, no, I should have put blue. <laughs> uh, but we're not going to have a design. We wouldn't have even if we wanted to. The windows as well. I think we'll smoke them out. Maybe we won't. Yeah, so you colour up the engine a little bit. So let's go with a light smoke just so that people can see us like royalty a little bit in, on the inside. Good. That's a great car. 2.3 million. It's cheap. That is cheap. Okay, out of all the cars, it is by far the best looking one that's been released so far with this DLC. It's amazing. And I'm very glad that we got that one. Day one. Often with DLCs, you get the best cars day one. Oh, fun time play. I, could, I need to make that black. Never mind. Rear wheel drive car, based on the supercar, the Koenigsegg. Oh, come on, mate. Yeah, I was trying to feather it around that corner and failed. Oh, we, we don't want to go up there properly, do we? Oh, do we? Yes. This is... I thought it was going to be the ducktail, the fishtail one. Um, that um, the McLaren make. But no, it's not. Unfortunately, I kind of thought that was going to happen. This isn't the one that I wanted. I mean, it is. It isn't. I think now we have it. It's an amazing looking car. And it's the engine sounds exactly the same as the other entities. It's got that waspish, tinny sound to it, which I'm not sure if I like. I've got used to it. But does that mean I like it? Let's put the lights on. Okay. We've got the lights just curve around there, which is nice and original. I like that. It's unique to the car, which is always good. It means they've put effort in. Slight bit of oversteer in the corners, but otherwise, yeah, nice. I mean, the other entities do drive nicely as well. Maybe I should go into the entity garage and compare the two, the three. Um, but this looks far better from the back, I think. Actually, maybe not better. Maybe that's not the right word. Different. Because I think some people will like the other one. I think all the entities look good. Look very good. But the other entities, you don't have decent customization like you do on this. You don't have the same level of options. So for me, yeah, 2.3 million. Good price. Doesn't feel competitive for super class races. But then, you know, there's not many cars that come out that are. And you kind of suspect that anyway from costing only 2.3 million. It's never going to be competitive, is it? They're not going to let you get away with that one when you, they can make you spend 3 million. Because in Opic, that's the going price. People will pay it 3 million and more. So maybe we won't get any competitive supercars. So I would recommend buying it. You, will, you won't be disappointed if you have a load of money and want to buy this particular Koenigsegg. Definitely, you will not be disappointed, but you also won't be racing it. You'll just be using it for fancying around in sessions, showing off all your wealth and enjoying yourself. But that's that's what the cars are about anyway for the game, unless you're buying a weaponized car. Most of it is flouncing. You know, if you once you've got your race car sort of, come on mate. I couldn't decide which way around to go. Great looking car. Let's have a look at the internals just to finish off the video. Not an electronic display, that is a bit weird. That's a bit wrong. Um, they made a mistake there. I wanted an electronic display. But I want doesn't get it all the time. That's life. <laughs> if you find this video useful, shortest video customization so far. For the for I think the best car. Gotta be honest, the best looking and overall the best car. Yes you have the um the Anis 300 r is Imani Tech. This isn't but I mean they're never gonna make this kind of car Imani Tech. Um, and that's not enough reason not to buy it and buy the other one, if, unless you don't have an Imanitech car. In which case, buy the Buffalo STX. <laughs> best value. In which, and, you, and you should have bought the Champion the other week anyway, because that is the best Imanitech overall. If you found it useful, like, subscribe, give me your comments on what you think of my customization and of this car. But thank you very much for watching. Have you a great day if you're playing Dust GTA.